Oh, hi. Oh, hi there, cutie. What's your name? My name's Vern. And who? I'm Betsy. Betsy Tooley. Betsy. The gal this whole town was named for. Pretty famous, huh? I'll bet that Monica Lewinsky won't get a town named after her. <laughs> I was just out on the back dock looking up the river to where my tavern used to be. There at the foot of Main Street. I owned all that land over to Knobs Creek. I sold it to the town fathers to start this fair city. They said they'd name it after me if I sold it to them. Now, that's not the reason I sold, mind you, but a gal does like to be remembered. <laughs> <laughs> this house was built by Mr. J. Carter Perry. He was the local Chevrolet dealer for many years. Maybe you know his son, Lowell. Handsome fella, chip off of the old block. In fact, Wayne and Chris, the grandson and the great-grandson, are still the Chevrolet dealers here in Elizabeth City. <laughs> I always wanted one of those red, shiny Chevrolet convertibles. <laughs> I'll bet old Carter would have given me a real good deal, <laughs> don't you? <laughs> well, he and Mildred were nice folks. Sort of quiet, though. Not interesting like me. <laughs> of course, now this house is owned by Toadie and Sharon Bunn. That Toadie's a cute thing, too. <laughs> they have a swimming pool out back, and you ought to see him in a bathing suit. Ooh! <laughs> but, but that's another story. <laughs> uh, my real name is Elizabeth. People call me Betsy. But, you know, my maiden name was Elizabeth Taylor, just like that other beauty. <laughs> I guess they named her after me, too. <laughs> well, I lived life to the fullest. Had me two husbands. Married my first husband, Nathan Ralph, when I was only 16. Dang, did he didn't up and die on me after one year. Oh, well. I guess I was just too much woman for him. <laughs> there I was at 17. A wealthy widow. Owned me a sailing ship, traded in the West Indies. Had that 200 acre plantation my daddy left me. Then I married Adam Tooley. He was a rich planter from up in Princess Anne, Virginia. He and I lived on Church Street where the old Duke Inn used to sit, about the same place that the GR Little Insurance Company is now. Well, we built that tavern, the Betsy Tooley Tavern, on my land down by the river for all those sailors. When you see those tall ships used to come up the sound and go down to where the river bends, but then it got so narrow they couldn't sail any further. They came here to get shingles to make roofs for houses. This place was called Shingle Landing. Bet you didn't know that. Well, those shingles came from out from the mills out in the swamps. And they brought those little shingles in on those little narrow flat bottom boats called punts. Well now those little punts couldn't go out in the open water. So they all went down close to my place, down by the river. Well, all those local men on those punts and all those sailors on those big ships needed a place to go and have a drink or spend an evening of pleasure, <laughs> if you know what I mean. <laughs> well, not being one to miss out on an opportunity, I opened the Betsy Tula Tavern. Oh, I had me some good times at that tavern, all those men. <laughs> of course, those jealous wives claim that I would get the men drunk and rob them of their money and all of their valuables. <laughs> now, you don't think I do a thing like that, do you? <laughs> you don't ever think I do anything like that, do Never, you? Never, miss. Never. Oh. <laughs> Goodness, goodness. You're a gentleman and a scholar. 
Can I go home with you? Your wife wouldn't mind, would she? Would you? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I'd better be going. I'm feeling the need for a little liquid refreshment, and I'm expecting that captain from the Hattie Creek to pick me up on the dock out back. Oh, by the way, uh, you better check your wallets before you leave. <laughs>